This short video will examine bronchoscopy on the intensive care unit. My name is Brendan McGrath. I work as an intensive care consultant at the University Hospital of South Manchester in the UK. Intensive care patients commonly get lobar collapse. This is a common indication for bronchoscopy and bronchial wash, as you can see from the x-ray here. The equipment you need is a suitable bronchoscope, some sterile saline and usually some 20 ml syringes to inject. Having reviewed the imaging, the bronchoscope has advanced to the area of interest. You can see on this clip that the right main bronchus is entered and the bronchoscope has advanced down towards the right lower lobe. Thick secretions can be seen, which are blocking the proximal right lower lobe. We can use 20 mil aliquots of sterile saline to try and dislodge this mucus plugging. The saline is drawn up and inserted into the bronchoscope. The saline is then flushed through the working channel. A suction system has been connected to the bronchoscope. This incorporates a sputum trap for capturing any aspirated material. As we start to inject, you can see on the endoscopic view, the mucus plug is dislodged. The saline is left in situ for a few seconds, and then the mucus plug and some of the saline is aspirated. Keeping the collection system upright minimises the loss of the aspirate. You can see here the aspirate is sucked into the sputum trap. These are the typical appearances of a bronchoscopy following a bronchial wash or bronchial lavage. Here the endoscopes advance to the right low lobe again, only this time, once the small bubbles have been cleared, you can see that the right lower lobe orifice is now pretty clear.